what is my favorite thing? Like, who plays me? Just like Black Swan. Hi, I'm Jake. We're here today to uh, teach you guys about the triangle congruency points, the centroid, orthocenter, incenter, and circumcenter. And we're going to be using four criminals to go along with this, so please follow along with your worksheet and write down any questions you may have to be answered the next day in class and be ready to discuss the video. Thank you. Class, this is the centroid. This is the first character we'll be looking for. And again, this is just a visual representation of the centroid. It's a triangle point of concurrency. So we're going to take a closer look at it on the board. So here's what we know about finding the centroid. Uh, firstly, we need to know the vertex are the three corners or points on a triangle. The, also, the midpoints are halfway between two vertex. The medians are drawn from the vertex to the opposite midpoint. The centroid is the intersection of all those three mediums. We also know the distance from the centroid to the vertex is two-thirds the length of the median. This means the distance from the centroid to the midpoint is, of the side length is one-third the total distance, and that the centroid is equidistant from all vertex. In downtown Baltimore, the centroid has been spotted on three different streets. By plotting the locations on the map, we can draw line segments to connect each point. Once the triangle is drawn, the midpoints should be marked halfway between each vertex. By connecting the midpoints to the corresponding vertices, you can find the location of the centroid. Good job! The orthocenter is the second creature we'll be looking at. Um, we're also going to look into altitudes and more triangle points of concurrency. Okay, so now we're going to go through what we need to know to find the orthocenter, which is our next criminal point of concurrency. Uh, first, we need to know that the altitudes are lines from the, ver from the vertices that intersect the opposite side at exactly a 90 degree angle. The orthocenter is the point at which these lines intersect. The orthocenter is in different places for different types of triangles. Firstly, in a right triangle, the orthocenter will always be located on the vertex at the right angle. In an acute triangle, the orthocenter will always be located inside the triangle, and in an obtuse triangle, the orthocenter will always be outside the triangle. The Ortho Center has reportedly robbed three different banks in the Maryland area. By looking at the location of the three other banks and using our knowledge of the Ortho Center, we can figure out where he is hiding. His three prior crime locations in Hagerstown, Baltimore, and Washington, D.C. all form a right triangle. We know that the location of the Ortho Center in a right triangle will always be located on the vertex at the right angle. The Ortho Center is located in Baltimore. The circumcenter is the third creature we'll be looking for. Um, the circumcenter is the point at which three perpendicular bise bisectors of a triangle intersect. It is the center of the circle drawn around the triangle, and this circle passes through at all three vertices of the triangle. So next we'll be looking for the circumcenter. And uh, the first thing we need to know in order to find the circumcenter side out is that a circle is said to circumscribe a triangle if it passes through all three of the triangle's vertices. And the center of this circle is known as the circumcenter. Taking a look over Century High School, we can use the three places where the circumcenter has last been seen to construct a triangle. By drawing a circle around the triangle and connecting all three vertices, you can find the location of the circumcenter. The radius and the diameter can be used to find the center of the circle. A 
Okay, the incenter is the final creature we'll be looking for. It is the center of the circle that can be drawn inside the triangle. Okay, so here's what we need to know to find our last criminal point of concurrency, the incenter. A circle is said to inscribe a triangle if it passes through all three of the triangle's midpoints. The center of this circle is known as the incenter. The in-center, a wanted criminal in the Baltimore area, has been using his credit card in three different towns. Lockhearn, Ellicott City, and Arbutus make up the vertices. Once the midpoints have been constructed halfway through each line segment, a circle can be drawn inside the triangle to connect each midpoint. The center of this circle is where the in-center is located. Congratulations on finding each of the criminals. If you have any questions, please write them down for class tomorrow. Thank you for watching.